They are some of the most essential workers we've relied on during the pandemic, delivery drivers. But one local UPS employee says they are working in unsafe conditions. They're working long hours, a incredibly increased workload. And on top of all that, she says there is no air conditioning. Jennifer Bellamy joins us more with the story. This is a woman who reached out specifically to 11 Alive with her concerns. Yes, Cheryl, we got a text from this worker who wants to remain anonymous as she's concerned about losing her job. She wrote to us saying in part that she works 14 hours a day and there's nowhere to sit and cool off when she's on lunch due to COVID-19. We spoke with a woman over the phone today and she tells us she's worked as a driver in the Atlanta area for three years now. But when the quarantine started, the workload tripled. Communication from management stopped all as temperatures outside kept rising. We usually don't have air conditioning, but our uh, routes have increased at least triple time. So I'm used to doing 150 a day getting off at 730. I can deal with that. But now it, it has tripled where I'm doing about 300 stops a day and uh, getting off at 11 o'clock, 1130 at night. When we try to eat lunch, it's very little places that allow us to sit inside so that we can cool off. But most of the time, we're sitting on our trunk in the heat, eating to recoup, but we can't recoup fully because we're, we're sweating, we're hot, we're not relaxed. We're just scared to say anything to management. You know, there's a lot of threatening of our job. I can't even exaggerate it. As soon as they found out the pandemic hit, all the meetings stopped, all the safety meetings stopped, no communication. UPS sent us a statement saying in part based on current data, an average driver will spend 40% of their time outside the car making deliveries and pickups. Package delivery vehicles make frequent, typically more than 100 stops during a daily route, and the entry doors and rear doors are constantly opened, rendering air conditioning ineffective. The statement continues that UPS believes that preparation, rest, hydration, and maintaining good health practices are the key to working outdoors. Now, UPS also says there is air conditioning in 20,000 of their vehicles, but the driver we spoke with says she's not aware of any, at least not in Georgia. Now, this isn't a new issue. You may have recalled hearing about it before. A 2018 change.com or change.org petition calling for UPS to install AC in all trucks has more than 1.1 million signatures. You can read up on UPS's full response on our website, 11alive.com. Just head to the As Seen on TV section.